How to start with Ansible automation platform? Well, first of all, we need to download the setup file. Where to do it? RedHat.com website. This is the main page. There is also a, a great banner about the coming event, Red Hat Summit, Ansible Fest, and all the products are listed down below. There are also interesting use cases and whatever. I really like the open hybrid cloud strategy, but let's click on the Red Hat Ansible automation platform. As you can see, this is the main page. There is also some video and explaining why is valuable for you and the different use cases and the different user personas. Now is also managed and uh, cloud platform uh, Azure but we would like to download the setup file so let's jump directly to our Red Hat customer portal first of all let me log in with with my Red Hat account in my case uh, let me enter my Red Hat login uh, this uh, you can create a simple profile just filling up a form with your data and uh, choosing a password. After doing it, you have your handle and you are able to see your Red Hat account. As you can see, this is a simple, very simple. Mine is as a developer and I can access also some Red Hat services. Then jump to the Red Hat customer portal. This is my favorite part and uh, you can access also directly with access.redhat.com and jump straight away to download. There is all the possible product listed down below and let me choose Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. After verifying my credential, we can reach out this page with a, with a product. As you can see on the product, there is only one variant. You can choose the version 2.3 is the latest. You can choose RHEL 9 or RHEL 8 supported operating system. The architecture is only the Intel one at the moment. And down below there is the setup file. There are two different setup files. As you can see, there is a, the setup normally that uh, is, let's, let's call it online, that is only 7 megabyte or the bundle that uh, pack it up all together and is created for air gapped environment uh, offline uh, and uh, I think it is the best option because it combines together the setup and also all the dependency is one package that you can distribute as much as you want in your fleet so just hit the button and wait for the download is one gigabyte and 300 megabyte yes so it's going to take a while so yay you are ready to you are already downloading the file and in a blink of an eye you are ready to move this file to your system and start the ansible automation platform installation great i really like the bundle are you ready to have fun now you are ready to start your Ansible automation platform journey. These steps apply also to further version of AAP.